right, guys, we got something a little bit different today. So this is going to be a little more like a vlog-based video. You get me and you get Mr. Dakota. So we are taking a little road trip today, all right? So we would only really do this if we had something really cool. Watch out for the UPS guy. Watch out for the UPS guy. <laughs> We're taking a little road trip to western Wisconsin near the border of Minnesota because we're picking up a new little fun project car for the channel. I'm super pumped about it. Something we've been looking for for a while, but we got to get loaded up here. We're I get to be the ads. cameraman. Yeah, Dakota's going to be the camera guy. <laughs> Why is the cord so long? I'm just headphones, <laughs> bro. Dude, these cup holders are inconvenient as f I know. Jones, yeah. record me real quick because okay. I got a little sneaky, sneaky. What the hell does that mean? So I know we were going on a road trip. I brought my freaking PSP. Oh! And it's JDM as f JDM? What is the green? Yeah, I got it imported from Japan. It's a PSP 3000. It was only released in green in Japan. And I have Need for Speed Most Wanted on this bad boy. God, watch my f knee. Oh. I hit switch headphones. That cord was way too long. Dude, you got the AC on. Yeah, daddy's sweating. There you go. Bye. You wouldn't know that's our building because it doesn't have a sign on it. I've been fighting it really hard for a sign. We need a sign. Please comment below so we can get a sign. Yeah, if we get 100 comments saying we need a sign, they'll get us a 100 sign. 100 comments and 1,000 likes. <laughs> yes, and we can get a sign and then I'll be happy. GDM water. Hello. Hello. In here. Yeah, gotta... sorry, we're making some videos. No, that's all good. I thought you had a. I'm like, oh, the guy's bringing his little dog. That's what it looked like. It does. That's actually uh, called a dead cat. So oh, it well, sense. it was something that was. I was like, oh. Or it looked like a little dog with a cone on its neck at first. I was like, okay. Well, good luck with your dead cat. Thank you so and, much. Uh... All right, Jules, give us a couple hints on what we're picking up. All right, so we are going to pick up a vehicle. It was made in 1994. That's when I was born. I even have it on my fingies. <laughs> you can see it. Right now, it is apparently making, according to the owner, about 270 wheel horsepower. That's more than any car you've ever driven. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, not driven. I shouldn't say driven. Owned. Yeah, owned. owned. Yeah, yeah, more than any car I've ever owned. I want you guys to try to, don't cheat. All right, if you cheat, I'm a no. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna find you. Uh, but I want you guys to guess right now down in the comments. Like, pause the video and go off of those two hints and, like, what you guys know us for. What are we going to pick up? So drop it down in the comments right now. And we'll see if you're right. This is the boss fight. Is that the Evo one? Uh, I think it's a 350. Oh, okay. So if it's a blue and white Evo, that guy hard I literally just filmed this, but I left the camera in manual focus, so everything was super out of focus. That was wonderful. But I'm, I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm raging and I'm looking for Cajun. So a long story short here is a uh, guy gave us a call just now, the guy with the car, yeah. and he's like, uh, you guys driving this back or are you trailering it back? And we're like, uh-oh. I was like, oh God. But he's like, oh, you're driving it back? Okay, I just gotta throw the exhaust on it because it's open headers, we're <laughs> tuning in with open headers, which is wild, but I was like, okay, well, thank you because I don't want to drive three hours back with open headers on the highway. But he's like, so I'm gonna be a little late. So he's like, but don't worry, you guys like Cajun seafood? And we're like, yeah, yeah me, and, like me and Jels love Cajun seafood. We get it as much as we can afford, which isn't very much, but we try to splurge. Um, so I'm like, dude, I'm so down for that. It sounds amazing. I look it up, pictures, phenomenal. It looks so damn good. And then they're closed. So dude just blue balled me <laughs> with the best seafood that I've ever seen in my life. And not to mention you tried to vent on camera and then it was out of focus so now we're venting again. So now I'm double pissed. I'm double pissed up on a Tuesday. Well it ain't no raging Cajun seafood but... <laughs> That's just one section. <laughs> How'd they get all of Mexico into one menu? <laughs> Bro, I'm about to devour this. All right, Joe, so we had a little bit of concerns about this. <laughs> Nothing like major, major, no, but it's, like... Yeah, I mean, it's just your typical, like, hey, let's just talk over the internet kind of thing about this car. Also then, today, you didn't have the exhaust on the car. Right. 
And it's like, you had all day yesterday to do that. And I hope, like, I think nothing he, was wrong yeah. with the car. And that's why he's stalling so much. He's hour like, oh, late to here. <laughs> now we're literally here. We're at the spot. We're at the, the quick trip. We went from one quick trip to another yeah. quick trip. Hopefully the car is as described. It says no rust. It's pretty dang clean for the most part. Yeah, the only thing is got some paint fade. And like we were cool with paint fade. That's okay. But finding a rust free car up here in Wisconsin is hard. Um, But this thing, it should have like a built engine, built transmission. You guys got to be thinking what the hell. Because we we also (laughs) said it's like 270 horse. And then we just said built engine and built built transmission. So you're like, what? Oh, I see it. I see it. There's no hood. Why isn't there a hood? I don't know. I mean, it had a hood in the photos, right? Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? Oh no. It drives fine, runs fine. Oh shit. <laughs> Body is pretty mint. It has three deaths, like I said on the post, but sure. Yeah, a couple of deaths. Oh yeah. It's like be alone. Did you say you have a hood for it? Yeah, or? it's in the. It's oh, in it's the in part. there. Yeah, okay. I took it off because it was kind of overheating. So it is real hot. It is real hot. You can't really blame it overheating. Do you, do you have any ideas why it's overheating other than it's just hot out? Like smaller fan. Smaller fan on there. Yeah, it's two fans on it. But I pretty pretty much I think that fan in the front is blocking the airflow in. That's not getting enough airflow to it. Gotcha. Is there any other uh, issues you're having with it? Any leaks? Uh, anything there's like an oil leak that uh, I did oil pan on it. And I couldn't find what where where else it was leaking. Joe, I don't know if you want to take it for like a test drive or ride with them and go around the block or something like that. Yeah, you're It was kind of weird with second and fourth. I think the bushing might yeah, be in the shifter, so it's kind of hard to find second and fourth. We got it a couple times, but I'd say admittedly it's a little more rough than what I was expecting. I know it definitely has the built engine trans, which is like what definitely what interested us. But uh, I'm just nervous about the overheat and leaking oil and that kind of stuff going on, especially too if you're having a little bit of issues with the trans. But it's your thoughts. Press is always. Been- I'm just nervous too, even like, I mean, we got the hood, I don't think it's gonna fit in the Beamer, and then I don't want it to overheat on the way back. I just don't know if that's what we want to get ourselves into, unfortunately. To your honest thoughts on it. I mean, honestly, I think it sounds healthy. Like, everything sounds healthy into it, Jake. What up? Yo, so we, we're at the car. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a, it's a little rougher than expected. I just wanted to call, get your thoughts a little bit. He did say, he's like, I drove all this way, so I'm negotiable on price. I don't want to take it back. So I'm sure I, we could get it for less, but I'm not too confident in this one. I would say don't feel like you guys need to buy it because you drove out there. And right. Maybe yeah. Fine. Right now it's more of the fact of just making sure it gets oh, home. Oh yeah, I want to get it home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, if it's got all this stuff going on and- he didn't disclose any of that to you. Yeah. It's up to you guys on how bad you want it. Alrighty. Sounds good. Thanks, Jake. Well, what do you think, Jules? What should we do? It seems like you're pretty confident. To me, it seems sketchy as all. Literally the only thing. Reading? Driving it home. Yeah. yeah. The only really weird thing to me is that it's, if you can get in in the second and fourth, I don't have an issue with it. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't make it happen. I, man, I really wanted it, but bro, I couldn't get it into third or fourth gear to save my life. I he tried could, like, he couldn't either. yeah, he couldn't do I, I sat in the car. They'd had a pretty decent interior, but dude, that trans something's up and it's not good. And not only that, but just it being parked at quick trip for three minutes, there was oil everywhere, all over the ground, all over the engine, all over the back of the engine. Obviously he's been driving. Oh, and then 
Not to mention, I don't know if I caught this on film, we'll have to check, but I showed up and the oil cap was off of it and just <laughs> resting on the engine block. Which, I don't know how it stayed. I have no idea how it's, well, what I'm guessing is he recently stopped and checked the oil or added oil right before he got here because it is pissing oil everywhere. So he's a nice enough dude. Yeah, super um, nice dude. He was like, willing to negotiate on price and everything like that, which was really nice of him. But I, I think he was very willing to get rid of the car yeah. because it has a lot of. He just wanted to dump it. A lot of issues, unfortunately. So hopefully we make this still a video. I think I would like to upload this video to show because this is the reality of trying to buy clean cars and find used cars and. Sometimes it literally just doesn't work out. By no means want to like put any bad light on dude. Dude's super no. nice dude. Yeah. Like he has put a ton of work into the car. It's just unfortunately wasn't what we were looking the, for. The, what the ad said. Well, Joes, there's uh, one saying I always think of when time like this comes up. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. No way to run. I forgot the lyrics after that part. We ran. We ran. We ran fast. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we're still on the hunt. But like we said, that's kind of how it goes sometimes. You know, it just sometimes works out, sometimes doesn't. But the important thing is, if you're not 100% comfortable with the car, there's no reason to buy it. Yeah, it kind of sucks. You feel bad. The seller feels bad. At the end of the day, everyone feels bad. But you know, at the same time, you're saving your cash and you're not diving into a money pit that is going to take all of your money and probably break down halfway on the way home. It sounded like that. You know, if you're going out to buy a car, check it over. Bring a buddy with you. Take a peek at it. Don't be afraid to look at it. And even if you guys already agreed on a price and it seemed like you were going to buy the car, you don't have to buy the car. You're not legally obligated. You can walk away and that's what we're trying to teach today you know I guess we're still gonna post this video because it's kind of like a learning lesson it's a teaching lesson it's a life moment so don't forget wheels tires and suspension and performance over at fitministries.com and then the last thing you gotta know when to hold them know when to pull them know when to walk away know when to run <laughs>